Who you become is infinitely more important than what you achieve. And the reason is simple achievements can be lost. Goals can be missed. Things can be taken away, but the person you become, that's yours forever. No one can take away your growth, your character, or your wisdom. That's why it's crucial to focus on who you are becoming, not just what you're trying to get. Imagine if you invested in your own growth with the same intensity you invest in your ambitions. What kind of person would you become if you put the same energy into shaping your character, building your habits, and transforming your mindset? The question isn't just what do you want to achieve, but who do you want to become along the way? Becoming the person you envision starts with a choice, a decision. It's a decision to be intentional, to break free from the past, and to design your future self. So ask yourself, who do you want to wake up as tomorrow? Many people live based on the labels they've been given by their past, their surroundings, or their circumstances. But the real challenge is this, will you let those labels define you or will you decide who you will become? We all face two paths. One is to accept the default. The other is to intentionally shape our character and future. It takes effort, but the rewards are limitless. Think about the qualities you admire in others, whether it's integrity, discipline, kindness, or courage. Why do you respect those traits? Because deep down, you know they have real value. But here's the truth, you have the power to become those very things. You can cultivate these qualities just like a gardener cultivates a garden. Your mind works the same way. If you don't plant positive seeds, discipline, focus, resilience, then negativity, fear and doubt will sprout on their own. If you want a life filled with fulfillment, growth and success, you have to plant and nurture those seeds intentionally. You have to put in the work daily. So how do you start this process of growth? It begins with having a clear vision. Just like a gardener has a plan, you need a clear picture of the person you want to become. Be specific, don't just say, I want to be successful, or I want to be happy. Just define it. What does success look like for you? What habits, actions, and mindset does the best version of you embody? Write it down. Get a pen and paper and outline who you want to be. Put it in words, what qualities do you want to develop? What habits do you need to change? What does that future version of you do differently from today? Let's say you want to become disciplined. It's not just about desiring it, it's about practicing it every day. Discipline shows up in small decisions, waking up 30 minutes earlier, sticking to your commitments, and following your plan, even when it's difficult. It's the daily, small choices that shape your identity. As you make these choices, you begin to see yourself differently. You start to believe you are disciplined, and with each choice, that identity becomes stronger. The same goes for any other quality you want to develop, courage, generosity, resilience. And remember, the company you keep plays a huge role. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who are positive, who push themselves and others to grow. Their energy and habits will influence you, just as yours influence them. Pay attention to your self-talk too. The voice inside your head is powerful. If you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough, you'll act according to that belief. But you can change that voice. You can train it to uplift, motivate, and empower you. The more you practice positive self-talk, the more it will guide you toward becoming who you want to be. Let's talk about integrity. Integrity means being true to yourself and your word. It means aligning your actions with your values. Without integrity, everything else falls apart. You can't build the person you want to be if you don't keep your promises to yourself. Integrity builds trust within, and that trust transforms into confidence. Confidence isn't about perfection, it's about knowing you are committed to becoming your best self. Start with small commitments and honor them. Don't overpromise. Focus on small, consistent actions that align with your vision. Over time, those small actions will build the foundation of who you are becoming. So the question remains, who do you want to become? And what steps will you take today to move closer to that vision? The journey starts with a decision and the rewards are in who you grow to be. Who you become is infinitely more important than what you achieve. And the reason is simple achievements can be lost, goals can be missed, and things can be taken away, but the person you become, that's yours forever.
No one can take away your growth, your character, or your wisdom. That's why it's crucial to focus on who you are becoming, not just what you're trying to get. Imagine if you invested in your own growth with the same intensity you invest in your ambitions. What kind of person would you become if you put the same energy into shaping your character, building your habits, and transforming your mindset? The question isn't just what do you want to achieve, but who do you want to become along the way? Becoming the person you envision starts with a choice of decision. It's a decision to be intentional, to break free from the past, and to design your future self. So ask yourself, who do you want to wake up as tomorrow? Many people live based on the labels they've been given by their past, their surroundings, or their circumstances. But the real challenge is this, will you let those labels define you, or will you decide who you will become? We all face two paths. One is to accept the default. The other is to intentionally shape our character and future. It takes effort, but the rewards are limitless. Think about the qualities you admire in others, whether it's integrity, discipline, kindness, or courage. Why do you respect those traits? Because deep down, you know they have real value. But here's the truth, you have the power to become those very things. You can cultivate these qualities, just like a gardener cultivates a garden. Your mind works the same way. If you don't plant positive seeds, discipline, focus, resilience, then negativity, fear, and doubt will sprout on their own. If you want a life filled with fulfillment, growth, and success, you have to plant and nurture those seeds intentionally. You have to put in the work daily. So how do you start this process of growth? It begins with having a clear vision. Just like a gardener has a plan, you need a clear picture of the person you want to become. Be specific, don't just say, I want to be successful or I want to be happy. Just define it. What does success look like for you? What habits, actions, and mindset does the best version of you embody? Write it down. Get a pen and paper and outline who you want to be. Put it in words, what qualities do you want to develop? What habits do you need to change? What does that future version of you do differently from today? Let's say you want to become disciplined. It's not just about desiring it, it's about practicing it every day. Discipline shows up in small decisions, waking up 30 minutes earlier, sticking to your commitments and following your plan, even when it's difficult. It's the daily small choices that shape your identity. As you make these choices, you begin to see yourself differently. You start to believe you are disciplined and with each choice, that identity becomes stronger. The same goes for any other quality you want to develop courage, generosity, resilience. And remember the company you keep plays a huge role. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who are positive, who push themselves and others to grow. Their energy and habits will influence you just as yours influence them. Pay attention to your self-talk too. The voice inside your head is powerful. If you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough, you'll act according to that belief. But you can change that voice. You can train it to uplift, motivate, and empower you. The more you practice positive self-talk, the more it will guide you toward becoming who you want to be. Let's talk about integrity. Integrity means being true to yourself and your word. It means aligning your actions with your values. Without integrity, everything else falls apart. You can't build the person you want to be if you don't keep your promises to yourself. Integrity builds trust within and that trust transforms into confidence. Confidence isn't about perfection, it's about knowing you are committed to becoming your best self. Start with small commitments and honor them. Don't overpromise. Focus on small, consistent actions that align with your vision. Over time, those small actions will build the foundation of who you are becoming. So the question remains, who do you want to become? And what steps will you take today to move closer to that vision? The journey starts with a decision, and the rewards are in who you grow to be. Now, as you start this journey of becoming who you truly want to be, you'll encounter resistance. It's inevitable. Change is uncomfortable because it pushes you beyond the boundaries of who you've been up to this point. Your mind will resist, your habits will resist, and sometimes, even the people around you will resist. But understand this resistance is a sign of growth. 
It's proof that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and into new territory. Think of it like building muscle. When you lift weights, your muscles resist, they strain, they struggle, and sometimes they hurt. But it's through that resistance that they grow stronger. The same is true for your character, your mindset, and your habits. Embrace the discomfort, because that's where transformation happens. And here's another thing to remember, you don't have to do it all at once. Growth doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, a journey made up of small, consistent steps. Every step you take, no matter how small, moves you closer to the person you want to become. Maybe today it's just waking up 10 minutes earlier. Tomorrow it's reading a chapter of a book that inspires you. Or it's saying no to a habit that doesn't serve you. Each action, no matter how tiny, compounds over time. But here's a crucial part of the process, patience. You've got to be patient with yourself. There will be days when you slip up, when you fall short of your goals, or when you revert to old habits. That's normal. Growth isn't a straight line, it's a journey with ups and downs. The key is to stay committed and keep moving forward, even when progress feels slow. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about persistence. It's about getting back on track when you stumble, learning from your mistakes, and continuing to move toward the vision you have for yourself. When you're patient with yourself, you build resilience, and resilience is what keeps you moving when the path gets tough. Here's a tool that can help reflection. Take time to look back on your day, your week, your month. Ask yourself what went, went well. What could I improve? What steps did I take today that align with the person I want to become? Reflection isn't about criticism, it's about understanding and growth. It's about using your past experiences as lessons to shape your future actions. Now, you might wonder, how do you stay motivated during this journey? Motivation is great, but it's not always reliable. Sometimes you'll feel motivated and other times you won't. That's why discipline and vision are more important than motivation. Your vision, the clear image of who you want to become should be your North Star. It's what you return to when motivation fades. And discipline is the bridge that carries you through the days when you don't feel like putting in the work. Create reminders for yourself. Write down your vision and keep it somewhere visible on your desk, on your mirror, or as a note in your phone. Surround yourself with messages that remind you of who you want to become. And don't just keep your vision to yourself, share it with someone you trust. When you speak it out loud, you make it real. And when someone else knows about it, they can hold you accountable and support you when you need it. Accountability is powerful. It's one of the reasons why people achieve more when they work together, why coaches and mentors are so effective. When someone else knows your goals and supports your journey, it reinforces your commitment. Find a mentor, a coach, or a friend who shares your desire for growth and let them be a part of your transformation. Now, let's talk about something else that's crucial, gratitude. It might seem unrelated, but gratitude is a powerful force in becoming who you want to be. Why? Because gratitude shifts your mindset. It moves you from a state of lack, I don't have this yet. I'm not there yet to a state of abundance, I appreciate what I have, I'm grateful for where I am. When you cultivate gratitude, you start to see the progress you've made, however small. You begin to appreciate the journey rather than obsess over the destination. Gratitude also keeps you grounded. It reminds you that no matter how much you want to grow, there's already value in who you are right now. It's not just about the future, it's about appreciating and valuing your efforts in the present. So make it a habit to reflect on what you're grateful for maybe at the start of your day or before you go to bed. A grateful mindset fuels positivity and positivity attracts growth. And here's something profound to keep in mind. Life is not about becoming the person someone else wants you to be. It's not about fitting into a mold set by society, your family, or your past. It's about your vision, your values, and your choices. It's about becoming the version of yourself that you respect, that you can look at in the mirror with pride. When you focus on becoming the person you want to be, everything else starts to align. The goals, the achievements, the success, they all become byproducts of who you are becoming, not the sole focus.
The real fulfillment comes from the growth itself, from knowing you've become stronger, wiser, and more aligned with your true self. Make that decision today. Decide who you want to be and commit to it. Write down your vision, break it into small daily actions and follow through. Surround yourself with people who support your growth, practice gratitude and remember to be patient with yourself along the way. The journey of becoming is a lifelong process and every day is an opportunity to take one more step toward your vision. It's not about how fast you get there, it's about consistently moving in the right direction. The beauty of it all is that as you grow, you not only transform yourself, but you also inspire others around you to do the same. Who you become matters. It's a legacy you leave behind. And it's the most valuable thing you can create. Start now and let your journey of becoming be your greatest achievement. As you walk this path, it's essential to remember that growth is a journey that unfolds in phases. There will be seasons of great progress. And there will be seasons of stillness and both are valuable. Don't be discouraged during the quieter moments when it feels like nothing is changing. Sometimes the most profound growth happens beneath the surface when you're developing patience, resilience, and inner strength. Just because you can't always see the progress doesn't mean it's not happening. Think about nature a seed doesn't sprout overnight. It spends time beneath the soil developing roots before it breaks through the surface. Your journey is no different. Trust the process even when you can't see immediate results. The roots you're building your character, your mindset, your habits are the foundation for everything that comes next. Now, let's talk about the importance of adapting and evolving. The person you want to become today may look different from the person you want to be in five years. And that's a good thing. Life is about growth and evolution. And as you expand your experiences, your goals and values may shift. Be open to that. Don't hold on to an outdated vision just because it's what you originally set out to achieve. Allow yourself the freedom to adapt and redefine who you want to become based on new learnings and insights. But how do you adapt and still stay true to your path? It starts with self-awareness. You have to check in with yourself regularly. Ask yourself, are my actions aligned with my current values? Am I moving in a direction that feels authentic to me? Self-reflection isn't just a one-time event, it's a practice. It keeps you connected to your goals and allows you to make course corrections when necessary. One powerful tool for self-awareness is journaling. Writing down your thoughts, your intentions, and your reflections helps clarify your vision. It's like having a conversation with yourself, one that's honest and free from external noise. Make it a habit to journal about your growth, what you're learning, what you're struggling with, and what your next steps are. Over time, you'll have a record of your journey and you'll see how much you've grown. In addition to journaling, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being fully present in each moment and it's an incredible tool for self-awareness. When you're mindful, you're more attuned to your thoughts, emotions and actions. You become more conscious of the choices you're making and whether they align with the person you want to become. It also helps you catch negative patterns as they arise, giving you the power to choose a different response. Here's another principle to consider progress over perfection. Perfectionism can be one of the biggest obstacles in your journey. It creates an unrealistic standard and can paralyze you from taking action. Understand that you don't need to be perfect to grow. You don't have to have all the answers or make every step perfectly. What matters is that you keep moving forward that you're willing to try, learn, and improve along the way. When you embrace the idea of progress over perfection, you free yourself from the fear of failure. You start to see mistakes not as setbacks, but as learning opportunities. Every challenge you face, every obstacle you encounter, has the potential to teach you something valuable. It's all part of the process. The most successful and fulfilled people aren't those who never make mistakes, they're the ones who learn and adapt from every experience. Let's not forget the importance of taking care of your well-being on this journey. Becoming who you want to be requires energy, focus, and resilience. And that means taking care of your body, mind, and spirit. Your physical health impacts your ability to grow and perform at your best. Get enough sleep, eat nourishing foods, and move your body regularly. Exercise isn't just about physical fitness, it's about developing discipline, boosting your mood, and maintaining your energy levels.
And while physical health is crucial, so is nurturing your mental and emotional health. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer to a friend. Too often, we're our own worst critics, beating ourselves up for every mistake or perceived shortcoming. But that negative self-talk only holds you back. You need to be your own biggest supporter. When you slip up, acknowledge it, learn from it, and move on with a positive mindset. One way to build self-compassion is through meditation. Meditation allows you to quiet the mind and connect with yourself on a deeper level. It helps you observe your thoughts without judgment and cultivates a sense of inner peace and acceptance. Even just a few minutes a day can create a huge shift in how you perceive yourself and your growth. Let's also talk about the concept of service and how it ties into becoming your best self. Growth isn't just about improving for your own sake, it's about using your growth to uplift others. When you become a better person, you're in a stronger position to serve and support the people around you. Your positive energy, your resilience, and your wisdom become a source of inspiration for others. So as you focus on who you want to become, ask yourself, how can I use my growth to make a positive impact on the world? Being of service adds meaning to your journey. It gives you a sense of purpose beyond yourself. Whether it's mentoring someone, volunteering, or simply being a supportive friend or family member, using your growth to help others amplifies its value. You're not just becoming your best self for you, you're becoming your best self for the benefit of others too. Now, as you continue on this path, recognize that setbacks are part of the process. Sometimes you'll hit roadblocks, and sometimes you'll feel like you're taking two steps back for every step forward. But setbacks are not failures, they're lessons in disguise. Every challenge is an opportunity to build resilience, to test your commitment, and to strengthen your character. When things don't go as planned, remind yourself of this, the journey isn't about perfection, it's about persistence. It's about showing up, even when it's hard. It's about believing in your vision, even when progress is slow. It's about trusting that every effort you make is planting a seed, and that with time and patience, those seeds will grow into the person you aspire to be. So keep going. Be patient, be persistent, and be kind to yourself along the way. Remember that becoming the person you want to be is a lifelong process, not a destination. There will always be new layers to uncover, new challenges to face, and new heights to reach. Embrace the journey in all its ups and downs, and celebrate every step you take toward becoming the person you were meant to be. As you keep progressing, one of the most important elements is to maintain clarity on why you want to become the person you envision. Your why, your purpose acts as a compass, guiding you when the road gets tough and when distractions try to pull you off course. When your purpose is clear and deeply rooted, it becomes your source of strength. It's what will push you to get up early, work late, and keep going when it feels like you're making little progress. Ask yourself, why do I want to become this person? What impact do I want to have on my life and the lives of others? The stronger your why, the more resilience and determination you'll have to overcome obstacles. Write your why down. Make it visible. Every time you face a challenge, revisit it. Let it remind you of the bigger picture. But even with a clear purpose, staying focused can be difficult. Life is full of distractions, social media, entertainment, other people's opinions, and countless other things can pull your attention away from your goals. That's why creating routines and habits that align with your vision is crucial. Successful people don't rely solely on willpower, they build systems that support their growth. Think of your daily habits as the building blocks of the person you want to become. If you want to be disciplined, create a morning routine that sets you up for success. If you want to be a learner, set aside time every day for reading or learning something new. Small habits, practice consistently, have a compound effect, they grow over time and bring you closer to your goals. And as you build these habits, be mindful of one thing, protect your energy. Your energy is one of your most valuable resources. When you spend it on the wrong things, you have less to invest in the right things. So be intentional about how and where you direct your energy. This means learning to say no to things that don't serve your vision, even when it's uncomfortable. It means letting go of habits, relationships, and activities that drain you or keep you stuck in old patterns.
It also means managing your mental energy. Guard your mind against negativity, whether it comes from external sources or from within. You don't have to entertain every negative thought that pops into your mind. You can choose to redirect your focus to thoughts that empower you. Remember, your thoughts shape your reality. If you want to become a person who is confident, positive, and resilient, start by managing what you allow to occupy your mind. Now let's go deeper into the power of resilience and the ability to embrace failure as a part of your growth. There's a myth out there that successful people never fail. But the truth is, they often fail sometimes more than anyone else. The difference is they don't see failure as an endpoint, they see it as feedback. They use it to adjust, to learn, and to grow. Every setback holds a lesson. The key is to ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this experience make me stronger? When you view failure this way, it loses its power over you. It stops being something to fear and becomes an opportunity. You start to realize that every time you fall short, you're getting closer to success because you're gaining the insights and resilience needed to overcome future challenges. To develop resilience, practice the art of reframing. When something doesn't go as planned, instead of saying, I failed, say, I learned instead of, this didn't work, try. This taught me what not to do next time your perspective shapes your reality. By shifting how you view setbacks, you turn them into stepping stones. Another important aspect of resilience is perseverance committing to keep going even when the journey is long and the results are slow. But to persevere, you need to rest, recharge, and take care of yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Build rest and recovery into your routines. Take time to recharge mentally and physically so you can bring your best energy to your growth journey. Remember, rest isn't a weakness, it's a strategy. It's how you ensure you have the strength to keep moving forward. Now let's explore something that often comes up on the journey of self-transformation comparison. It's easy to look at other people's lives and measure your progress against theirs. But comparison is the thief of joy and it often distorts reality. Everyone's journey is unique and everyone's timeline is different. When you compare your progress to someone else's, you miss the value of your own path and the lessons meant for you. The only person you should compare yourself to is who you were yesterday. Focus on making progress based on your own standards, not someone else's. Celebrate your small wins and acknowledge the growth you've made, no matter how incremental it seems. Each step you take forward is a victory. And the small wins add up to big changes over time. And here's something critical, don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Sometimes as you grow, you'll realize that the vision you had for yourself no longer fits. You might discover new passions, new values, or new goals that resonate more deeply with who you're becoming. That's okay. Give yourself permission to evolve. Reinvention isn't a sign of failure, it's a sign of growth. It means you're paying attention to your life, you're learning, and you're willing to adjust to become the best version of yourself. Becoming the person you want to be is about alignment. It's about aligning your actions, thoughts, and values with the vision you have for your life. It's not about being rigid, it's about being adaptable while staying true to your core. As you grow, you'll refine your vision. And that's a powerful thing. It means you're living intentionally, not passively. As you continue on this path, always remember to be grateful for where you are right now. Gratitude creates a sense of abundance. It helps you see that while you're on the journey of becoming, you already have so much to be thankful for. Gratitude anchors you in the present moment, reminding you that even as you strive to grow, there is beauty and value in the process itself. And as you build this attitude of gratitude, you'll find that your vision for who you want to become becomes even clearer. It's not just about achieving more or being more successful, it's about feeling more fulfilled, more present, and more aligned with your true self. So to wrap it all up, becoming who you want to be is a lifelong journey. It requires vision, resilience, self-awareness, and the willingness to adapt and grow. It's about making the small, consistent choices that move you closer to your vision each day. It's about cultivating the right habits, surrounding yourself with the right influences, and managing your energy and mindset with intention. Every step, every step you take, every lesson you learn, and every action you commit to shapes the person you are becoming. 
And in the end, it's not just about what you achieve, but about the journey of growth and the person you transform into along the way. That's the true reward becoming the person you've always had the potential to be like, share, comment, and subscribe.